Hello and welcome back to my tarot corner. So apparently uh, Virginia Goodgoufre was uh, blamed or accused by uh, another woman of uh, sexual abuse while they were both under the influence of Jeffrey Epstein. Now, Virginia herself did not uh, did not uh, deny the fact that she herself worked for Ghislaine Maxwell and brought girls uh, to uh, Jeffrey Epstein when she was under his influence, or as she uh, uh, liked to uh, to call it, she was uh, a, his uh, slave in a way. Uh, I don't know exactly how to say that, but when she was abused by him, and uh, she herself uh, was uh, the one who brought a lot of uh, her girlfriends uh, to Jeffrey Epstein. She helped. Elaine uh, recruit girls, let's say that way. And now one of those girls apparently decided to come after Virginia herself and uh, sue her because of sexual abuse. So I've decided to do a spread about that. So I'm going to take just five cards and the underlying energy to see what are the energies around that. Because I think that this is um, really a, a very good uh, a closure, let's say that way, because after she came after Prince Andrew and got the settlement that she got from Epstein and from Prince Andrew, uh, despite the fact that Prince Andrew never actually admitted to even having sex with her, uh, but he probably decided to uh, settle because he didn't want to do anything that will hurt his uh, mother's jubilee. But now it looks like karma is coming after Virginia. So let's see what are the energies around that. Uh, is she really uh, to blame? Was she only doing things because she was under uh, Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell's influence? So is she innocent in a way? Uh, so let's see what are the uh, energies around that. So first I am clearing the deck. This is the modern witch tarot, which is a rather weight clone, but uh, with modern depiction and especially uh, women uh, are here mostly and not men. So let's start by clearing the deck. And let's start asking. So, um, Virginia Gouffre, sorry. Okay, got the card, so let's start over. So, Virginia Gouffre is being uh, accused for sexual abuse by one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims. Virginia Gouffre is being accused in sexual abuse by one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims. So what are the energies around Virginia Dufre being accused in sexual abuse? Okay, so we'll start by clearing the deck. Eh, sorry, by um, dividing the deck into three. And the first card that I get is the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is a card of dreams. Dreams that can become reality. Uh, but uh, what we need to know about all sevens is that in order for those uh, dreams to become reality, uh, the person or the current needs to get out of the comfort zone. So something needs to be done in order to make these dreams reality. Now, a lot of people look at that as the gaslighting card because of the, uh, the because the car, the, the um, cups are on this uh, um, cloud. 
And uh, here, the cups are full with all kinds of good things, but also bad things. You can see that there is a snake in this cup and there is a hurricane in this cup. Cap. So sometimes you can choose something and get something that is not exactly what you were hoping for. So, but this card is actually about making your dreams come true. And this can be either Virginia's dreams or the woman that is accusing her. But this is about making dreams come true, leaving the comfort zone, fulfilling the dreams and making them become a reality. But this also shows a tendency to fantasize. So that could be either uh, the victim or Virginia herself that had the tendency to fantasize and to create this fantasy and not exactly live in reality. But what we know for sure is that uh, Jeffrey Epstein molested those girls. Now, whether or not Virginia had a, a, a huge part in that, that's a good question. So let's see what the other cards are showing us. So the next card I'm getting is the devil. Okay, so we see that there is a lot of darkness here. The forces of darkness are very, very uh, difficult. And because of the dark, uh, the devil, the, this changes the seven of cups and it becomes a negative card and the seven of cups when it is in the negative shows us that uh, there is limited belief that things can really become reality this shows running from reality it shows a difficulty in leaving the comfort zone it shows naivety so uh, this shows me that Virginia was uh, uh, counting on the naivety of the, the, uh, the women or the girls that she recruited. Uh, in a way, she used, the, utilized those forces of darkness, those forces of uh, all of the bad things that you can just think of. I mean, the the, the devil is the worst card in the uh, in the in the deck. There is no good way to see the devil. I mean, it's not even a card that you can come out and say like the tower. Uh, you can strengthen your uh, uh, your foundations with the devil. There is nothing good about it. This is a card of addictions. This is a card of abuse. This is a card of submission to urges, neglect, uh, carry, being carried away, losing control. Uh, this is a card of lies, of uh, problems with sex, everything that is connected to sex, uh, wrong advice, misleading, being shackled. Uh, this is uh, really the Worse, uh, 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 this is the worst uh, uh, card that we can think of. It is a bad card of using using people to your own advantage, pursuit of pleasures and materialism. And we do know that Virginia got a lot of money from Jeffrey Epstein even before she left him. He paid for her education. He paid for her to go to all kinds of places in the world. So uh, Virginia Gouffre was a complicit here and the devil energy uh, was uh, very much, uh, uh, let's say, uh, tinted her as well. Okay, so that is the second card here. The third card that I'm getting is the Five of Cups. Five of Cups, that's a card of depression. This is a card of someone who cannot see the good side of life, only the bad side of life. And this is a card of someone who is um, despaired. Uh, this is a card of desperation. And in a way, I think that this is how those girls that Virginia recruited for Jeffrey Epstein felt. They couldn't see the, 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 the good sides. They couldn't see the two cups. They only saw the third, the three cups that uh, were uh, 
were down because they felt pessimistic. They felt that uh, they lo felt lonely. This is a card of lack of trust because when you are being utilized in such a way, you are losing trust with everyone. Every adult becomes uh, becomes a threat. Uh, this is a card of a, a person who wants to give up, and this is. Uh, the uh, main energy that I can see around uh, the women that uh, Virginia Gouffre uh, uh, recruited and that woman that uh, is, has decided to sue her. So that's the third card. The fourth card is the Four of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles, that is a card that uh, is showing us the the feeling of being threatened. And because you feel that you are being threatened, you are be adhering to what you know. And these, this is what those girls felt. They felt threatened all the time. They were adhering to the things that they knew, to the things that, uh, uh, that uh, they felt uh, safe uh, with. Uh, but this card is a card that le is leading to the Five of Pentacles. That is a card of destruction. And uh, these girls, these really, really poor girls, uh, were threatened all the time. Time, and they c conducted themselves out of this energy of feeling the need to protect themselves and they didn't know how to do that so the only way that they knew to do uh, what to do was to uh, go back to the places that they know that is why a lot of uh, uh, people that are abused go back to their abusers uh, many times because they know nothing else. So, uh, and then it leads to destruction and failure because of acting out of this energy of feeling threatened. So that is the fourth card. And the fifth card is the card of Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles, that's a card of recognition and reward. But this card shows how Virginia Gouffre actually cooperated with uh, Ghislaine Maxwell with Jeffrey Epstein, that's the three of them, uh, and that is being co cooperating together in order to get those girls. So she was uh, very active in getting those girls and convincing those girls to come over, and maybe in a way that she thought that this was her way of protecting herself. Uh, because when she brought other girls to Jeffrey, then she uh, didn't have to uh, perform those acts herself. So this was her way of protecting herself uh, in a way. So this energy of feeling threatened and acting out of feeling the need to protect yourself, this could also be Virginia herself. But she was complicit. She uh, helped them. This is a part of... A this card shows recognition, this sh shows cooperation, and, uh, uh, and money and uh, sex were involved. As you can see here, the woman is uh, standing here uh, naked. So although it is for art or creating art, but uh, in the uh, actual right or right, the way there is no nudity, here there is. So uh, it does speak uh, sex to me in this card. Okay, so that's the five cards. The underlying energy of this is the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles, that's the Ace that speaks about getting what you need in the world and getting it realized. So everything is surrounded, surrounding money, surrounding getting your physical needs uh, realized. So that is also for Virginia. That was also for Jeffrey and Ghislaine. In a way, that is not only money, that, that's all physical needs, uh, and sex is included in physical needs. So the underlying energy of everything is the need to get your needs or your tangible needs 
realized in the material world. And that is uh, how we say money is the one thing that uh, makes everything tick in the world, makes the world go round. So uh, this is what we see here. That was the underlying energy here. And I think that Virginia herself got money uh, for the women that she, or the girls that she brought to uh, Jeffrey Epstein. So there was this uh, monetary uh, um, motive as well. Okay, so that is the uh, tarot, and the tarot shows that Virginia is complicit, uh, she is guilty, and I hope that she will get out uh, guilty, uh, or at least uh, that the woman who is uh, suing her will succeed to show that in the trial. And as you always in nefarious things like that, I'm using the dark mirror uh, oracle, which gives you uh, the dark energies that are behind things. So let's just finish uh, shuffling and clearing the deck. Okay, so energy surrounding Virginia Gouffre, energy surrounding Virginia Gouffre. Okay, so The card that I'm getting is Queen of My World. Now let's see what it means. So Queen of My World is I set limits to my world. Inside I am queen and outside is lost. So this is a, a, per, a person that is a, a letting the world see a, some version of herself, but inside she is completely different. So Virginia Gouffre was very good in uh, becoming the victim, and this is what she showed the world. This was her outside, but in her inside she is the queen of her world. So she is the one that controls her world. Uh, so she She's not the victim. She's not really the victim, but this is the face that she uh, shows the world, and this is why uh, she got what she got from Jeffrey Epstein, from uh, Prince Andrew, and I hope that right now the mask will fall. So this is it for this reading. I hope you liked it, and uh, if you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.